What is up guys, the Pedex VI here today and I'm going to be showing you how to curate your own Minecraft server. This is for cracked uh, versions of Minecraft or uh, non-cracked uh, versions of Mon Minecraft. This is also I'm also going to be showing you uh, how to create a Minecraft server for the Comcast or Xfinity uh, users. Most of y'all have the modem uh, with the black that black Xfinity box and the the uh, number on that is the SMCD3GNV model. That's the model for it. Uh, mostly, most of y'all cannot find it or how to do port forwarding on that. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do that as well. Um, so let's get started. And um, first thing you want to do is everything's going to be in the description. So just go ahead and click on the links that I tell you to click on. So first we're going to click on the Minecraft link. So make sure you do that right now. Give you a few seconds to do that. All right. So once you get to the Minecraft uh, page, you're gonna make sure you're logged in as well. Um, you're gonna want to go down where it says Play Minecraft and it says Download. Click on Download. Um, it's gonna say Multiplayer Server. Uh, you're running it on Windows. You're gonna want to have to download this. If you're not running on Windows, you're running on an OS or you know any kind of Apple product, um, a Mac or whatever. You are gonna have to click on this link, but I cannot show you that today because I have a Windows. So if you want to see how to do it with uh, a Mac computer, uh, this is not the video for you. So uh, just go find a video that specializes on that. So if you are running on Windows, um, make sure you click on this link right here. Minecraft underscore server dot exe. Um, it's gonna say starting, and it's gonna download. Um, so once it finishes download, click on this little arrow here. Make sure you click on show in folder, so it sh pops up right there. Minimize your screen. Um, right click on your desktop. Go to new. Go to folder. Oh, okay. Go to folder. Uh, you wanna have to call this Minecraft server. So you know that this is your server. And I'm gonna call this test because I already have one set up. So press enter and it's done. So you wanna grab this and drag it to your folder. So once that's there, you can go ahead and close this. Click on your Minecraft server. Double click on your Minecraft server and it's gonna ask you to run. Click run. All right guys, uh, don't pay any attention to what I'm doing right now. I'll show you in a little bit. All right. So, like I said, now you click run, and once you click run, this screen's gonna pop up. All right. Um. So now you can see I have two friends already playing right now, and um. So when that screen pops up, minimize it, and all these things are gonna be in your folder, but this has to be running though in order for you to see that. So, and then. You're gonna have your band IPs, your band players. You can type their names. If someone joins you don't like them, obviously you can you can do slash band and then type their name. But or you can just go here and type it in yourself. So those are three people that I had banned because they were trying to hack me. So you want to go down down. Sorry, my bad. You want to go down here where it says properties file. You want to have to click on it once, right click it, go down to properties. And where it says opens with, change that and make sure it's on notepad. And if you don't see a notepad there, go to browse and then look for your notepad. If you don't have notepad, download it, come back to here and then choose notepad. Press OK, apply, OK, and then you can op double click it to open it up. So for y'all who have the cracked version of Minecraft, you want to make sure that you come down here, delete true and put false. Make sure it says false. If you have the real version, the paid version, make sure it says true. All right, game mode zero. That's so everyone starts off in survival. Of course, you're, if you want to be OP, you gotta go to your little pop up, pop this thing back up. Type in down here in the little bar. Type in OP and whatever your name is. So mine's Zapata XVI. I will type in Zapata XVI, and it will say OP Zapata XVI. So that's how you can OP yourself to have all those uh, commands. Max players have it on five. We don't really don't need to mess with anything else. But before you exit this out, make sure you go to file and save. And that's it. So exit that out. Um, now, 
you can minimize this now this is where we have to do the other stuff now so for y'all uh, Comcast users or Minecraft um, not Minecraft Comcast or Xfinity users the link is down in the description make sure you click on that I'll give you a few seconds to do that alright so now we have the Xfinity login the username is going to be admin and the password is going to be pass p a s s w o r d password okay so now um you're on this screen right here make sure you go down to here to advance once you click on advance you're going to be click on port forwarding you should already be there enable port forwarding press enable all right so when you come here you can see mine's already set up what you're going to have to do is there's going to be nothing here Make sure you click on Add Service. Once you click on Add Service, this is going to pop up. So on Common Services, make sure you put Other. Other Service, type in the name of it, Minecraft. Service Type, Make sure, keep it on TCP-UDP. Your Server IP Address, that's your own IP address for your internet. So go down to your Start button. On your search bar, type in CMD. Click on, click on that. Um, type in IP con fig press enter your IP address IPv4 address 10.0.0.3 that's my IP whatever yours says uh, X mem mem either remember it and then put it down back here put it down there on your server IP address so that's it now you're done to the starting port the starting port is going to be 25565 your ending port 25565 exact same thing once again that's 25565 and then press save but I'm gonna press cancel because I already have it done and it's gonna say active and all that stuff make sure you go down to your DMZ now make sure enable it put in your IP address here change that to a 3 save it device discovery enable enable alright and then save of course so then, then you're done and that's it you have your port forwarding uh, set up now. So now, what you want to do is go to IP Chicken. So go to Google, and uh, you don't have to go to Google. The link's in the description. I don't know what I'm talking about. Go to the IP Chicken link, and your IP address is going to pop up right here. But I'm going to block that because I don't want anyone joining my server yet because I have no uh, security yet or anything. So anyone could just hack me. So yours is going to pop up right around here in this area and it's going to just remember, copy it, remember it, write it down on a piece of paper um, and I'll tell you what to do with that later. So now for y'all, the people who have, who don't have Xfinity Internet, so maybe you have like AT&T or you have whatever your internet provider is, um, you might have a router connected to it. So let's say you have uh, a Linky's router, a D-Link router, a Netgear router, or whatever kind of router that you have you're going to go to portforwarding.com it's in the description look for your router down here like uh, like for example L I'll go to uh, Linky, Link, Linky's make sure to say you have a Linky's look on your router you have, there's like a model number on your router look for that model number it should be on the front or on the side or on the back it tells you what kind of what the model is so let's just pretend that it's a SPA 2100 click on that and then you go to uh, you want to play it for Minecraft so you know you go to Minecraft server click on that and then it's gonna tell you what to do for your linkies so your linkies go down here if you have a linkies that's the number you need right here 192.168.62.1 you're gonna type that on your address bar and then you're gonna write admin for username and password for password so it's it's kinda self-explanatory for like all of them so if you have Netgear go on Google search for your Netgear uh, your Netgear like uh, uh, IP like this like the 192 look for that so you can go to your uh, Netgear uh, stuff and you can type in the uh, the port forwarding stuff, but um okay I don't know why it's doing that. 
So for the linkies, try to find where it says uh, port forwarding and do like the same settings that I did. See, it tells you right here, 25565 and all, that, and all that right there. So, you know, come look for your router down here. It'll tell you how to fix it up. It'll tell you what your Netgear is or your linkies or your D-Link uh, site is to go to. So, um, and then type in this, uh, the stuff that it tells you to do. It, t it guides you step by step. So, I know if, and if your, your router number is not on the list, then just go to the actual site yourself and then set it up like I showed you on the Xfinity one. It should, if it asks you for the starting point, enter 25565. If it asks you for your IP, type in your IP. Um, you know, do it exactly like the way I did it for Xfinity one. It's just going to be on, on for years. So it's, it's all the same thing. It's just on different websites. And that's what you have to do. And that's it. So now when you go to your Minecraft, um, you click on that Minecraft server that you made. Make sure your Minecraft server, you double click run it. And it has to be open all the time. So now it's running right here. And it's on. Just shrink it up. Open up your Minecraft. And enter game. And um, now, remember that, that IP I told you to write down or remember from IP chicken? You're going to need that. For those of y'all who don't have Xfinity Internet, the the model number uh, SMCD3GNV, if you don't have that, go to add server, you know, call it whatever you want, server address, type in that number I told you to uh I told you to write down from IP Chicken. Whatever that number that IP is from IP Chicken, copy that down here, you know, blah 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 blah, and press done. You should be able to connect your own server. Now, um if you can't um this is what i did because i couldn't because for some reason with my xfinity num uh, xfinity internet box that i have it won't let me connect to it that way and i just kept saying disconnecting disconnecting lost connection so what you want to do is type in local host local host and then press done and then here i am right here yo yo i don't know why i call it yo yo a my local host and joining and this is my own server guys right here see my friends are in there carbone and prodigy you can go down here it says that they're right here carbone prodigy is a beta so that's how you uh set it up for xfinity providers i hope i hope a lot of y'all because i know there was a lot of people searching this on yahoo and google um so i i hope that this video helped y'all out and for those of y'all who don't have the xfinity uh router i hope you were able to figure out how to do it um, if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below. I, I know how to do this for a linkies or D link. If you, if you still can't figure it out and you're looking at other videos and you still can't figure it out, if you need me to, I can create another video for linkies, D link and Netgear and all those different types of routers, whatever type of router you have, just tell me if you need help, I'll help you out. So, but I'm pretty sure that I explained everything correctly and it should work. Um, if your IP address from IP Chicken, if you put that in Minecraft and it doesn't work, try local host. All right. And if that doesn't work, then you did something wrong and uh, you got to try something else. So leave a like, guys, if this helped you out and uh, stay tuned for my other videos as well. Subscribe. Uh, I have really good videos. I make like Call of Duty videos, uh, Skyrim videos and etc. And uh we, we keep posting videos every single day or every other day. Uh, so hopefully you like our channel. Hopefully you like this video. And I hope you out. Leave a like and leave a comment as well. And I'm happy to help you all. So uh, enjoy your day, guys. And have a nice day. Peace out.